guys, today I'm super excited because I am finally reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover who is easily becoming one of my favorite authors ever. This woman knows how to write a good freaking book, okay? And this is gonna be the third book that I read from her. I actually just finished reading Verity last night at 2am because it was impossible to put down. That's how good this book was. Um, I highly recommend. There's also like a lot of steamy scenes too, so if you're into that, go read this book. It's so good. And the first book that I read from her was It Ends With Us, and that book was also super good. I cried so much. Like, that book got me. I think the main character is a nurse, and that one kind of freaked me out because I'm currently a nursing student, so I was like, this book was written for me, okay? <laughs> I swear to god this book was written for me because I just read that the main character Tate used to live in San Diego and she's a nurse and I go to school in San Diego and my major is nursing and so I'm like slightly freaking out right now because this book was really made for me you know I just finished the first chapter from Miles' perspective and it was so cute because the talk about six years earlier when he first met Rachel who is like his ex-girlfriend and like the way he talked about her was just so adorable and my heart was melting. But yeah, I think it's like super sad to think about because like comparing Miles to how he was before six years earlier compared to the present moment where he's like super heartbroken. I mean, he's like laying on the floor drunk as hell because I think he's like still super hung up over her or like whatever happened, I don't know. Bro, she's just like dead ass washing his dishes, what the heck? Okay, what the heck? I'm on page 51 and he's already like low-key gaslighting her. He's all like, I have no idea what you're talking about, Tate. We met on an elevator, remember? Sounds like a red flag to me. it's the next day i am currently in a starbucks parking lot because i just got matcha ice latte from starbucks with two pumps of chai because of tiktok recommendations so i want to try it out with y'all today this is bomb af i brought ugly love with me and i'm gonna read a little bit while i'm here because it's a nice day outside it's cloudy and it's literally like July 21, so it's like supposed to be super hot, but I'm wearing a jacket because it's super cold in my house. Also, I think I said I was probably going to read the book in one sitting, but like I kind of failed because I was super tired yesterday. So I only got through like 50 pages, but I think it's a good thing because lately I've been like going through one book a day. And like I really need to control myself because if I don't then this is gonna be a very very expensive hobby and my goal for 2021 is to read 21 books which isn't a lot but like hear me out I haven't read a single book in like three years because high school kind of ruined reading for me and it became more of like a burden and a kind of like inconvenience because they were basically like forcing me to read but now I'm in college I've been trying to like go back to reading because I've always loved reading when I was like in the fifth grade or something and this is gonna sound weird but like reading feels like I'm healing my inner child self because when I was young I used to be like made fun of for reading like my friends would bully me well they're not my friends anymore thank god but yeah Okay, the main character, Tate, is really me AF. Like, she's developing a crush to a guy who's clearly emotionally unavailable. So she's basically me. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna go home now because it's starting to get, like, really hot. Dude, I'm at the part where Rachel tells Miles that she's moving in with him. My god, I'm at the part where they're having Thanksgiving dinner and their mom was asking Miles if he was single and I guess their mom just kind of assumed that he was gay and Miles was like, no I'm not and Corbin was like, but you said you were that one time, remember? And Miles was like, I'm not gay, dude. <laughs> that was so funny, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm at the part where he talked about how he hasn't had a relationship in like six years and how Tate was the first girl he kissed in like six years. Dude, I just really want to know what happened with him and Rachel because she destroyed him, bro. Like, she really hurt him. He's all like, it's not that I don't like you, Tate. I just don't want to like you. I don't want to like anyone. I don't want to date anyone. I don't want to love anyone. Damn, who hurt you? My god, I'm at the part where they're agreeing to become friends with benefits. And Tate was like, I don't want to pressure you into anything you aren't ready for. You're practically a virgin. And Miles was like, it's been six years, Tate. Believe me when I tell you, I'm ready. Okay. 
You guys, I just finished that scene where Miles and Rachel were in the shower doing stuff. It's because their parents were out of town, so they had the whole house to themselves. And it was so cute and sad because it was like them confessing their love for each other. And it's just sad to think about because they're probably going to break up soon. I don't know why or how it's going to happen, but I really want to know how it happens because this is sad you know <laughs> okay the main character tate makes me laugh because even though miles clearly told her to not expect a future she has this mindset of i can change him and it makes me laugh because she's basically me we are the same i love her like the more he makes it clear that he's super emotionally unavailable the more she becomes more attracted to him which i think is so funny because that's basically me af like me and tate we are the same we both live in san diego we're both doing nursing and we both need help oh my god i love cap so much he's the elevator guy and he's just like so pure and wholesome i love him Oh no, I'm at the part where Rachel and Miles were skipping school and they were at the beach and Rachel was telling him about how her period was late. I'm scared. So I just finished the part where Rachel found out she was pregnant and the way Miles reacted was so sweet. Oh my god. But now I'm scared because I feel like something horrible is going to happen soon. Ugh. Oh no, I'm like at the part where Tate was kind of telling Miles to admit that he has feelings for her but he just kind of drove off so like now Tate is crying and Cap is trying to cheer her up and it's just such a wholesome scene I love Cap so much but like I have a really really bad feeling that he's probably gonna die soon because he's like pretty old <laughs> so Cap was telling Tate if that boy can't see what a good thing he could have with you then he ain't worth your time period he spoke straight facts I love Cap so much I hope he doesn't die because that's gonna be so sad Oh my god, so Miles and Rachel were telling their parents that she's pregnant and his dad was going off about the asshole who got her pregnant and Miles was like, I'm the asshole who got her pregnant and like the way the entire scene played out was just like, oh, oh my god. Rachel just gave birth and they named the baby after the English teacher from when they first met and I literally got chills when I read that because it was so like sweet and cute in my heart oh my god and for some reason I for sure thought that the baby was gonna die but thank god that didn't happen because that would have been horrible but now I'm confused because like what else could have possibly happened between Rachel and Miles you know I'm scared Well, their newborn baby just died. Okay, the cover of this book hits different, especially right now after I just found out what happened with Miles and his past and how his baby died. Like, the cover is water, and that's crazy and kind of messed up. Colleen Hoover, why would you do this to us? I only have like 20 more pages of the book left, and I'm like starting to get really scared and nervous because it's not going too well. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm at like the very last chapter and it's in Rachel's perspective and I wasn't expecting that so like I'm excited to like see what her life is like right now. I am crying at this. I just finished it and I am crying at this. Okay, sorry I look really crusty right now, but I just finished this and it was super good, but not gonna lie, I'm like kind of underwhelmed because I was really expecting to cry. I only cried a little bit and it's because I thought this book was really gonna resonate with me because Tate was basically me, we had the same life, okay? And I've also dealt with a guy who was a lot like Miles, like they were both super emotionally unavailable and were both still like super hung up over the past, so like I thought this book was really made for me, you know? But I only cried a little bit and I think it's because I'm in a good place right now, like I don't really care about him anymore, thank god. But yeah, I feel like if I read this book when I was like still kind of going through that, then it would have like hit me a lot harder. But fortunately, I am pretty happy right now, so I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, that ending was chef's kiss. Highly recommend this book to anyone. And I love the characters too. Miles was a pretty great guy. Tate was also a pretty good person. I think she needs to work on herself and not be like hung up over a guy who clearly has no capacity to like love her i mean i need to learn that lesson too me and her are the same we both need help 
but yeah and i also love cap so much he's like so wholesome and pure and i'm glad he didn't die and i love how they named their baby after him i also really love rachel surprisingly like i thought she was gonna be a bitch but no she's a good person and i don't blame her for anything like they were 18 you know like for some reason i thought miles past had something to do with like an emotionally abusive relationship or something so i was like really expecting rachel to like be abusing him in some way or like vice versa but no they were a pretty good couple who unfortunately went through something super tragic and i hope that never like happens to anyone these are really my initial thoughts and i also like to journal right after i finish reading a book so that's what i'm gonna do now I'm reading Eleanor and Park next and after that I'm reading Fangirl by the same author. These are some of the books that I'm gonna read next and I have more but they haven't arrived yet and these are the ones that I've read this summer so far.